My apologies, mister. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Come on. Survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. That's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Lord, vultures, this don't look so good. God damn it. Come on, let's take a look. in the shed. That ain't 
quite right. No one would board up a barn like this. Break that door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Oh, thank God. Who's that there? Damn.
deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Damn you. Chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk ain't men. You ain't nothing. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Come on, they're gonna get away! Follow me! We can still catch them!